Hello guys and welcome to Stories at 254. I know you guys have been seeing the story that has been going on um, around the country about the Shakahola massacre death troll. And uh, just in, detectives have linked Pastor Ezekiel to the Shakahola deaths. The DPP links the two infamous pastors, Paul McKenzie and Ezekiel Odero, to committing the following crimes. Murder, suicide, abduction, radicalization, genocide, crimes against humanity, child cruelty, fraud, and money laundering. Investigations reveal that upon the death of Ezekiel's followers, the bodies were preserved at a private morgue in Kilifi before being transported and buried in the Shakahola forest. Paul McKenzie and Ezekiel Odero share the Times TV station which was used to pass radicalized messages to believers with the intention of recruiting followers who are believed to be victims of the Shakahola massacre. Followers would dispose their earthly belongings and surrender them to McKenzie as part of their preparations to meet with their maker. Police believe the proceeds were then used by Ezekiel Odero in establishing house units, schools, petrol stations, mega complex, farms, media houses, among others. Ezekiel Odero also convinced his followers to withdraw themselves from conventional medical treatment and instead he crowded them in an enclosed setting. The communication authority has suspended two TV stations associated with the two infamous pastors, Pastor Ezekiel Odero and Pastor Paul McKenzie, for airing inappropriate content about exorcism. According to investigation, up to 17 deaths occurred within the precincts of New Life Prayer Center between 2023 and 2022. According to investigations, up to 17 deaths occurred within the presence of New Life Prayer Center between 2022 and 2023. The police want Ezekiel Odero to be held for 30 days pending probe. Mortuaries in Kilifi confirm receiving dozens of dead bodies from Pastor Ezekiel Odero's church. He is linked to what the government calls mass killings of his followers. Most of his followers tend to believe he is still innocent, contrary to the evidence. Kindly comment in the comment section, what do you believe? Reporting for Storiza 254, I am Doris Motua.